for consumers who aren't quite ready to switch to an all-electric car, plug-in hybrids are a good substitute. Included in the growing group of plug-in hybrid small SUVs are the Hyundai Tucson plug-in hybrid, Ford Escape plug-in hybrid, Dodge Hornet RT, Toyota RAV4 Prime, and Kia Sportage plug-in hybrid. Hyundai has updated the SUV with a few noteworthy changes for the 2024 model year. What's not to appreciate about the Tucson in plug-in hybrid form? It's a strong, elegant, and economical vehicle. I'll talk more about that soon. The conventional Tucson has impressed us with its unexpectedly composed handling and fun driving and the 261 horsepower and instantaneous electric torque of the FEF are nice additions. It isn't quite as fast as some of its peers in the segment, though. Besides, a realistic plug-in hybrid prioritizes electric range and economy. In comparison to other Tucson variants, the FEF is less expensive to fuel nevertheless, Direct competitors of the plug-in can provide more electric range and better fuel economy when the battery runs out. Another concern is that the Tucson's cargo capacity and back legroom are compromised by the plug-in hybrid's motor and battery. Despite its electric powertrain's lack of spectacular performance compared to some of its competitors, the Tucson remains a sleek and sophisticated crossover that offers excellent value for money in terms of features. Should you find all that desirable in a fuel-efficient car, the Tucson FEF might be a great choice. The Tucson plug-in hybrid expands upon the Tucson hybrid by adding a more potent electric motor and a larger. 13.8 kWh battery to the 1.6-litre turbocharged i4 engine. With its standard AWD system, this car can reach 60 miles per hour in 7.1 seconds with a combined output of 261 horsepower and 258 pounds to feet of torque.